Measuring the fair value of unlisted infrastructure investments has become increasingly important for investors and regulators alike. Infrastructure companies seldom trade and each is unique. When valuing such assets, finding directly comparable transactions to proxy earnings or revenue multiples is practically impossible. It is extremely rare to have an airport or power plant similar to the one you want to value that is also traded recently and in the same location. As a result, the most frequently used approach is to discount future cash flows. Given a cash flow forecast, we need the rate of discount or expected returns that best represents the market price of the risks found in this investment at the time. Today, most investors use a single factor model. This assumes that all the risks found in unlisted infrastructure investments can be explained by a single risk factor known as the equity risk premium and the asset correlation with this factor, or beta. Often, investors use a listed infrastructure index to proxy the beta of unlisted infrastructure. But we know from previous research that listed infrastructure indices are highly correlated with the stock market. Is it fair to say that unlisted infrastructure should be valued using this proxy? In contrast, a scientific approach focuses on the multiple factors that explain expected returns. Each investment embodies a certain exposure to each risk factor and each risk factor has its own price or risk premium. These factors are like the DNA of the discount rates. Eric Infra has identified five key factors that explain and predict expected returns in private infrastructure investments. Say we want to price several hundred infrastructure companies. If a subset of these have been traded in the recent past, we can use their transaction prices and their dividend forecasts to compute an expected return. While we still cannot use this information to value the firms that have not traded, we can decompose these expected returns into priced factors and extract the market risk premia of each risk factor at that point in time. Now we can combine these risk premia with the factor exposures of all the firms that did not trade and compute their price using a firm-specific market calibrated discount rate. This approach uses contemporaneous market inputs and is the most consistent with the IFRS 13 guidance for estimating the fair value of private investments. It relies on a scientific approach to asset pricing, advanced statistical techniques and the largest database of infrastructure investment data in the world developed by Eric Infra. Thanks to this approach, Eric Infra produces fair value indices of the performance of the infrastructure asset class globally.